Instead of studying outer space, some scientists at NASA are trying to better understand a phenomena right here on Earth, snowstorms. And they're doing it with the help of a university in South Central Pennsylvania. I spoke with members of this team to see how they're hoping this study will help improve weather models in the future. They are the hurricane hunters for winter storms. We have a lower flying airplane, uh, the NASA P3, which actually flies into the clouds of the snowstorm. Dr. John Yorks and scientists at NASA are working to better understand snowstorms as part of their investigation of microphysics and precipitation for Atlantic Coast Threatening Storms or IMPACTS mission. We fly uh, an old U-2 spy plane. Um, it's called an ER-2, and so that has uh, radars and other remote sensing instruments similar to what we have in space. The team flies planes in and around snowstorms on the East Coast, collecting data in hopes of better understanding how snow bands set up, something that is not very well understood. And of course, it could mean the difference of six inches sometimes between Harrisburg and Lancaster, right? Millersville University is also helping in the study, launching weather balloons during these storms in conjunction with other universities. It allows us to get sort of a cross section of the atmosphere um, and, you know, understand the thermodynamics and the kinematic dynamic structure of the atmosphere. Dr. Richard Clark and his students have traveled up to three hours to launch these balloons. Not only are they helping with this NASA project, but they are connecting their coursework to real world scenarios. I learn a lot better um, in the field um, instead of, you know, just with a lecture. It's, it's very rewarding in that uh, you're getting an active part in the research experience. Um, no matter what the conditions are. This multi-year mission will continue into winter 2023. Then scientists will analyze the data with the ultimate goal of improving weather forecast models, helping both forecasters and the people impacted by these types of events. And, you know, ultimately, you know, save lives, uh, be able to prepare the public more, um, because that's our goal as meteorologists.